Hey everyone, I'm here with a quick video on Giselle Bryant from the Real Housewives of Potomac. Well, listen guys, the fans are not playing. Many fans for a few years now have been calling for Bravo Andy Cohen to fire Giselle. They're sick of her antics. They're sick of the fact that she um is on a show called The Real Housewives Up and she's not even a housewife. They're sick of the fake boyfriends. But what they're really sick of, they're sick of her coming at the other people's marriages and it just so happens to seem like if you're of a dr hue uh your skin complexion got a little more uh color to it giselle seems to discriminate against you not like you or treat you a certain kind of way it has gotten so bad that it is to the point where someone actually did a change.org Yes, they did. They said the man Bravo to terminate Giselle Bryan for false accusations. I mean, when you go that far as a fan to get somebody off a show, you need you mean business. Now, they're saying that their goal is a thousand signatures. Right now, they're at 729 signatures, and it started on the 12th of April this month. So um, let me share a screen with y'all. This is a lot. And I think after tonight's episode, um, from the clips that I've seen, uh, they might get their thousand because people are piping hot, pissy mad. So the man Bravo, this is on change.org. You could just Google the website, pull it up, and it will be there. It's um, the man Bravo to terminate Giselle Bryant for false accusations, okay? Like I said, it was started on the 12th. It has 729 signatures so far. It was started by this Danique. I guess, Thompson. This petition, she said, is deeply personal. I have been a Potomac fan since season one. And unfortunately, my favorite show is going down the drain because of Giselle Bryant. I don't want anyone suing me. So I'll, I'm saying allegedly for all these statements within this petition, even though we heard these statements on the TV uttered by Giselle. It stems from an incident where Giselle Bryan, a cast member of the Bravo Network, falsely accused Chris of touching Deborah's butt. The accusation was not only baseless, but also painted Chris as a predator, which he is not. Such false allegations can ruin lives and reputations in an incident. She also said Chris made her go into a room, which she later recanted. Giselle's irresponsible behavior has caused immense distress and harm to both Chris, Candace, and the viewers. It is unacceptable for someone with such influence to misuse their platform by spreading damaging lies about innocent people. Not only this, but Giselle, she spelled the names wrong there, has gone after so many marriages on this show. It's the same storyline every season. That's the truth right there. She says she was against violence when the, um, when, Mo when the Monique incident happened. But when Wendy, dark skin, was assaulted by Mia, light skin, she was still very friendly or friendly with Mia. There, are, um, there seems to be some colorist behavior going on as well. Wendy, dark skin, had nothing to do with the fight that Deborah Lightskin caused, but Wendy was thrown into it by Giselle in a clip of the reunion where Giselle said the fight was caused by Candace, Wendy, and Kiana. Um, I always say her name wrong. I hope I said it right this time. Why does Giselle have this unconscious bias toward Wendy? She later corrected herself and removed Wendy, but why was Wendy even a thought in the first place? False accusations of SA are serious matters that can lead to severe consequences for the accused, even when they're innocent. That's a true fact. According to the National Registry of Exonerations, 52% of wrongful convictions in the United States that resulted in exoneration involve perjury or false accusation. And then she put the National Registry of Exonerations 2017. We believe that Bravo should hold his cast member accountable cast members accountable for their actions and statement. Therefore, we demand that Bravo terminate Giselle Bryant immediately due to her false accusations against Chris. By signing this petition, you are standing up against false accusations and supporting justice for those wrongfully accused like Chris. Please sign this petition today. Um, she said you can also scan, I guess, that um, QR code and you, you know, from your phone or whatever, and you can sign said petition. 
Um, you know, she has a lot of people with a lot of strong views on here. Um, she has already 20, um, 729 um, signatures. So there's some other people that stand with her. Uh, I don't know how many people actually know about this um, change.org because petition, but she's not the only one. There was another one here um, it created on April 12, 2024, um, fired Giselle from the Real Housewives of Potomac. For far too long, Giselle Bryant has used the Real Housewives of Potomac as a tool to tear down women and and and, and pedal, um, what is that, pedal over. Let's go into this one. This one has um, 127 signatures and the next goal is 200. Um, so why um, this petition matters for far too long. Giselle Bryan has used Real Housewives of Potomac as a tool to tear down women and peddle over um, colorism to the darker skinned woman, all the while failing to contribute a noticeable storyline that keeps viewers interested in her and her appointment by NBC Universal. It is time to let her go. So there, this one, oh, um, okay, we got uh, Carter here. I don't want to mess with the person's last name. I mean, first name. So there are more than one, um, there's several people, I'll put it that way, that want to see Giselle Bryant gone. So you got two change.org petitions that were both started on April 12, 2024. I'm guessing April 12th is the day that... Um, that clip came out for the um, part three of the reunion that's going to air tonight. Now, this one was created back in January. Um, let's go into this one where um, they said this was January 2024. Oh, the people are serious. So this one has 239 signatures and the next goal is 500. So it says Maru Giselle Bryant from Real Housewives of Potomac for her false SA accusations. Um, the people are pissed. So this one is K.A. As a deeply concerned viewer, I'm personally affected by the actions of Giselle Vine on the Real Housewives of Potomac. She has been spreading damaging lies about Chris Bassett, potentially ruining an innocent man's life. Her accusations that forced her into a that he forced her into a hotel room and touched her friends inappropriately are not only unfounded but are also incredibly harmful. Giselle's behavior is not just affecting Chris Bassett and his reputation reputation, but it is also impacting the overall quality and integrity of the show. I agree with that. It sets a dangerous precedent that false accusations can be made without any repercussions. Cliff Bassick also lost his job because of Giselle's heinous lies about him. Bravo Network should take responsibility for their cast members' actions and remove Giselle from the Real Housewives of Potomac to ensure such incidents do not occur in future episodes. This would send a strong message to all viewers that false allegations would not be tolerated, thus maintaining trust in their programming. We need your support to make change happen. Please sign this petition urging Bravo Network to remove Giselle Bryant from the Real Housewives of Atonement for her false accusations against Chris Bassett. Woo! So you have the, I showed you a few, um, you know, people that they want her gone. They want her gone. Um, do I think Bravo needs to do something? Yes. Do I think um, the reunion this season is deplorable, hard to watch, and almost unbelievable that they're allowing this to go on and that she could sit there and blame everybody else for every situation? And so she's claiming that her business was impacted because of, you know, Candace, Kiara, Kiana um, and Deborah and the whole um, altercation that they had. I would beg to differ. I would say that when you have so many companies out here that is selling athletic wear and not only just selling it, but selling cute athletic wear at a very reasonable price and affordable price to the masses. And you show on national TV a line that looks like it was made for um, a, a, by a high school student um, for, a, for a project to pass home at. Um, I don't think that your business was destroyed because of that fight. If the product was the product and the product was good, in spite of that fight, the people would have still flocked to the website to buy said product. And when I went to the website after um, that episode aired, None, and when I say none, none, 
None, not a one other products that was on their runway for their fashion show did I find online. And what I did find online, their brand wasn't matching up to their name. But that is diva talking, okay? And I never proclaim over here to be the end all be all. It is just my opinion, my thoughts, and what I felt and said and have to say about it. So listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. What are your thoughts on this situation? Do you think that Giselle should be removed from the Real Housewives of Potomac or at the very least, at the very least, be put on a time? out. Now, listen, I don't like to be coming at nobody's job, especially if she has one daughter in college already, and she's about to send two more. But you know what? You got to tighten up and act right. There have been plenty of people that had mortgages, car notes, and everything else that got fired from their job because they was acting a straight fool. I think Giselle does the most. I think she does too much. I think that she's not a team player and she is a cancer within the group. Wherever Giselle is and everything she does, it just turns to poop on the Real Housewives of Potomac. Listen, guys, chat with me and I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button, people, and I'll see you on the next video. Let me know you think this change.org petition is justified. Is it needed? See ya.